The left love to claim that um, the BNB has somehow hijacked the British flag. Would you not agree that the left have hijacked the terms of human rights and equality? And if so, what are we going to do to get the true meaning of human rights and equality back in this country? Several questions there, actually, or several points. Um, <laughs> did, did, have we hijacked the flag? Well, there was a time until a few years ago when in Birmingham, to have a flag a quarter of the size of this one, either the Union Jack or a St George Cross, as a bumper sticker on your taxi cab, meant that the council, the Labour-run council, would class it as an MOT failure. Because taxi drivers weren't allowed to have a bumper sticker indicating they were proud to be British or English. So the Labour Party now turn around and say we're hijacking the flag, if we weren't here, they'd still be grinding the flag into the dust and the dirt and the mud and the grime of their multicult. The only reason that they've suddenly decided that they need to pick up the flag is because otherwise we're the only ones who use it and thereby the public turn to us. So we haven't hijacked it, we've rescued it. As regards terms such as like, human rights and equality, what about those? Well, they're not quite ours, actually, for several reasons. We don't recognise anything such as a human right unless it's balanced by a human responsibility. People do not have any rights in a society unless and until they contribute to that society. Obviously young children and so on, they have rights because they haven't yet had a chance to contribute to a society. Old people have rights because in all probability they've worked, they've paid taxes all their lives, in some cases they fought for this country, the old ladies have been bombed for this country. So they have rights, but they've earned those rights. And we're absolutely opposed to the nonsensical you know, culture of uh, litigation, culture in inverted commas, uh, whereby people can say, oh, you know, my human rights have been, been, been broken. The, the innocent have rights, but the guilty, the criminal, the thug, the burglar, they don't have any rights. The moment someone goes into someone's home with a view to depriving them of their property, they lose all their rights. The householder should have the right to kill an intruder in their own home if they threaten them. And none of this afterwards, well, you're going to go to court, you're going to go to prison, they should get a medal for having done a public service. Because someone who goes into someone else's home intent on committing violence and robbery loses every right they've got. So we don't recognise universal human rights. There's only rights once people have but earn them. And as for equality, we, there is a form of equality which is proper, and that is to treat the equal the same. But it's totally wrong to treat the bad as well as the good. It's wicked and wrong to treat the deeply stupid as well as the intelligent, because people differ. And the only proper form of equality is to treat equal people the same. So, for instance, if a woman wants to have a certain kind of job and do the same work as a man, she should absolutely get the same pay and the same conditions as a man. Anything else would be monstrous. But this feminist poison, which says that women and men are absolutely identical and the same, what a piece of pernicious claptrap, when everybody knows full well that <coughs> men and women are, in many ways, very, very different. Up here as well doesn't mean anyone's superior or inferior. You know, to, put it, to put it at its simplest, men can't communicate and women can't read maps. <laughs> it's a fact. It's a simple fact in terms of averages. But I assume I'm communicating at present, and I am, when I last looked, male. I hope to stay that way. But I can read maps. My wife can't read a map to save her life. But she communicates better than me. And she understands my guilty thoughts without me even uttering. <laughs> That's all I need to know. Because we're different. And to pretend otherwise, as a generation of Marxist cranks who now dominate all the other political parties, to pretend otherwise is a nonsense. So yes, uh, you know, we do recognise human rights when they're earned. Uh, and we do recognise the need to treat people equally when they're equal. But we're not fixated on human rights and equality in the same way as the far left 
and actually I don't mind too much leaving them with their catchphrases and their shibboleths if they'll leave us with our flag. Thank you.